Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, for those of you not in contact with your person right now, let's get an update on how they currently feel about you. Today is the 20th of February 2024, time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.09pm. Okay, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Virgo's not in contact with their person right now. How do they feel about Virgo currently? Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Ooh, okay. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Five of Wands here indicates conflicted, right? A, a sense of conflict. Um, also can indicate sometimes they feel some ways, a certain way about you, and some days they feel different ways. But there's so many different feelings I'm picking up on, and it kind of feels also very complicated, okay? Um, Currently, both of you are not in contact right now because the moon is right here. <laughs> now, the moon in reverse indicates your person perhaps could be feeling, okay, no contact means maybe this is over, the death, okay? Not talking to each other right now, maybe this is over. Um, but they could also feel, you know, it could be how they feel about you or how they feel you feel about them, okay? Bear that in mind. Got the Three of Cups here in my verse, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords in my verse, Ace of Cups. Sometimes the moon can indicate intuition, whether it's true or not. Sometimes, you know, we, because the moon also could mean uh, fear. And I always talk about how we can end up confused with fear and intuition right um that is something that i struggle with <laughs> okay virgo so what i'm seeing here is that the world in reverse they either have fear that okay maybe virgo has already started anew um started loving themselves more or started a new relationship or started a new endeavor because the ace indicates a new beginning right Maybe this is not going to happen anymore through Pentacles and one verse. Um, that this doesn't work or wouldn't work anymore because maybe you have a new thing going on within you or externally. Okay. Now, the three of Pentacles and five ones, it's like not getting along, right? Virgo, they may feel like both of you didn't get along. Maybe there was an altercation, maybe there was a fight an argument but i feel like that's for like 50 percent of you another 50 percent of you it's like okay i don't see somebody fighting for this connection it has been silent there has been no contact so again comes back to the death here that says mm, maybe this is over i don't know because the moon here can indicate uncertainties as well right now the lovers is right here person you're not in contact with currently either could be somebody you had a fling with or somebody you were in a relationship with it could be any different sorts of um connection okay but the lovers as you already know it says the lovers so this person still has a certain feelings for you no matter how big or how small because again ace of cups is the ace of love ace of feelings and also, for some of you, Virgo, your person you're not in contact with could be conflicted in regards to how they feel about you. Hence, they may not be talking to you. Hence, um, or that they feel you are conflicted about your feelings towards them. That's why you're not saying anything, right? But overall, I feel like since the lovers and ace of cups, these two cards are in an upright position, it could mean that 
um, they feel the, the interest is still there or the care is still there in some way, shape or form. Depends, okay, for each and every one of you. The level may be different, um, but it's there, okay? Or it could be like um, if it's a friend, right? Whoever is not in contact with you right now that you could be thinking about. And I know I have multiple people I'm not in contact with. <laughs> And um, just just listen to the message, listen to this, watch this video as you go along the way. And when I mention the you know the signs or some, you might be able to put you know puzzles together as in who this person is. Unless there's someone very significant in your head right now where you actually would like to know how they uh, feel about you, where where both of you are not speaking with each other right now. Now we've got the Hierophant right here. King of Wands in reverse could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo could be a Taurus. The lovers could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, can be any sign. Sometimes I do read the card Six of Wands a bit like an ego, depending on the surrounding cards. I'm hearing ego death because it's right next to the death card here. Um, they may be feeling like they may be feeling as though as much as they would like you to see them in a very good light, but they don't feel too good about it. It feels ingenuine. Hope that makes sense. Hmm. Because it, it feels more like they want you to feel that way about them, but they don't feel that way about themselves, okay? The Hierophant can indicate lessons being learned or lessons being taught. Um, they may feel like they've learned certain lessons from you or, you, and, or that them not talking to you is trying to make you, trying to teach you a lesson. Okay, Google, vice versa. They could be conflicted and with regards of a choice that they want to make, that they're not too sure if they should make it or not. Um, they may also feel like right now, this moment, King of Wands and Mothers, perhaps they shouldn't come on to you too strongly or take any actions towards you right now. And the death also can indicate waiting for the situation to like transform for the better. You know how like sometimes after a period of time, you tend to feel, even if you're super angry with somebody, with the queen, king of, uh, sorry, nine of swords and lovers, even if you feel like really angry with someone, as time passes by, maybe the anger will grow, will lessen, will lessen. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling here. It could be feeling like, okay, maybe some time passes by, you'll be less upset with them or that they'll be less upset with you. And then perhaps both of you can talk again or have this new beginning again. Okay, let's see more. Virgo. My gosh, I just noticed how dry my hands are because haven't washed dishes or cleaned the house in so long and finally when I came back I have to do it and I feel like my hands just look different but anyway let me know in the comment box below if any of you have like a really good recommendation for like hand cream <laughs> um, Six of Cups is in reverse now Six of Cups in reverse bad memories right from the past and Page of Pentacles is right here. Eight of Wands in our first. I do feel them like actually wanting to talk. Wanting to talk. But at the same time, not wanting to talk about the past. Like that energy of like, if you reconcile with someone and somebody starts like talking about the past, that anger might get reignited so they may feel like okay i just want to talk to virgo when she's less angry or when she's um less 
when the fire is still burning, basically. That's what it says right here, because the King of Wands here is in one verse. They may also be feeling like they would only want to talk to you. It could go vice versa, yeah? That they would only want to talk to you when they are less angry, not while they are, like, upset. So you should know where you stand in the storyline, here or there, okay? Because the Eight of Wands is in one verse. It's like, I want to talk as the Page of Pentacles, but I don't want to talk with the Six of Cups in one verse still attached to this connection, to this energy. And for some of you, Virgo, um, this is very specific. It's just for some of you. Now, what I'm also picking up on is that someone here may be feeling, you or them may be feeling like, I will only talk when you stop talking to an ex or you, or you break up with an ex or you, you break up with your, your person, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever, because the there's a third party here that's for some of you right three of pentacles and lovers if you truly truly put an end to maybe past behavior or put an end to you know whoever you're talking to or connecting to that may have caused an ending between the two of you may have caused the no contact it just feels like three is not a company three is a crowd okay for those of you, if you do know, if that's your situation, the reason why both of you are not talking to each other. It could be because of friends. You know, there are so many stories about a couple broken up because they don't like their best friend or they had to have beef with, with their person's best friend, friend's family, okay? That's for some of you. And Virgo, this is a general reading, so it may not be 100% accurate. So if you'd like to book me for a personal reading that is way more accurate with you, for you, um, you can send me an email. All the information is in the description box below, okay? But I definitely strongly see, generally, for most of you, Virgo, it's your person feeling like, I don't want to talk about what had happened. I want to talk, but I don't want to talk about what had happened. Um, or I don't want to talk about my past. I don't want to talk about something that embarrasses me or something that makes me feel as though I'm not good enough like, or I'm a bad person. They may also be feeling like um, vice versa, right? As though you don't want to, like you don't want to bring something up from the past. Um, Especially, Virgo, for some of you, if you have brought something up in the past that, you know, this bad memory is right here, Six of Cups and Lovers. I feel like they may just don't want to talk to you right now because they feel like that's what you're going to talk about, which is the past, right? Again, they could go vice versa, but their feelings for you right now, I feel like with the high fun and the death here is something needs to change, right? A decision needs to be made and also definitely not in a rush to to talk not in a rush to you know have this new start not in a rush to initiate contact with you it's kind of like that energy of I'm just waiting for something to end for real I don't want something to repeat okay ace of swords right here they may be feeling you've cut them off or unless if your person was the one who cut you off. But the Ace of Swords indicates them feeling like, okay, I have clarity right now as in what you did or what I did. But somebody did something wrong here, right? Six of Cups in one verse. Some of you could be just one of you. Some of you could be both of you. But again, Virgo, I feel like even though, you know, there's no contact here between the two of you, they still have something for you, okay? They still have something for you. Whether it's attraction or love or still wants to talk to you, there is something there, okay? It's not completely like gone over, finished, as though they've forgotten about you completely. But I do sense them feeling like they want to forget about something that has happened between the two of you. Something that was maybe spoken or bad experiences. 
Okay. Or that they could be waiting for you to forget about something that has happened in the past or end something before they come and talk to you. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot, and also my vlog channel, Chelsea Vlogs. All of the information is in the description box below if you don't know that my main channel is where i would usually go live um and also post um, weekly prediction reading for all 12 signs anyway take care virgo i hope to see you back here again soon as i post your videos every single day i love you bye